After almost three weeks home, I did not want to leave. Stayed home for Easter and spring break for my kids. Got sick. Still sick a little bit, but we ain't got time to sit around. We got 26 states left to go, and I can't be staying home. We got to go, so we're going. That's a heavy bot. I just matched him. My name's Ben, and I'm on a quest to find a shed in every state in the U.S. I don't even know if this is possible, and I'm risking everything to try to get it done. Come along with me as we travel the country in search of shed antlers. We're headed out on the biggest road trip I've ever done, and it's not going to be cheap because we're taking the Tundra. You guys saw the struggles with the van. She's done unless somebody tells me otherwise. We're taking the Tundra. we got the GFC on top. We can camp along the way, and we are drive to the Atlantic Ocean, at the very least. First stop, Indiana. Second stop, Ohio. Third stop, Pennsylvania. Fourth stop, New York. Fifth stop, maybe Connecticut. Maryland. Who knows? We're just going to go knock out as many as we can in like two weeks, so let's freaking go. I drove all night, I pulled over at seven, and I slept for a few hours on the side of the road in the middle of the flat, nothing out here. Good morning. Outside of Kansas City, Missouri, in between Kansas and St. Louis, and uh, I slept pretty good actually. I slept from about midnight until it's about seven now, so. Gonna get a rip in Southern Ohio. Sorry, I still can't talk. And I happen to be crossing through Indiana. If you guys have been following along, you know that I failed to find a shed here on my last go. And I hit on X and I was looking and I found a little chunk of public that I can go try right here. It was right off the side of the interstate. So i um, not gonna get to Ohio till late tonight anyway in the dark. So I might as well burn some of this daylight. <laughs> Indiana got us again. We got smoked here. That's two times. Two times. That's the first time that's happened anywhere. Two misses in one state. Uh, but we're going to be back here in a few days to try it again. So all is not lost. In the meantime, though, I got some of my Texas whitetail. Smoked sausage is cooking up. It's cold out here, and I'm hungry. So I'm going to smash some food, and then I got about a four-hour drive to southern Ohio to meet up with Jared and then I have some Indiana trips lined up again on uh, Friday anyway we got stuff to do we're not dead in the water we're not done yet all right folks we made her here so I'm gonna meet up with my buddy Jared he had to work today so he sent me a pin to some public on the National Forest some stuff that I've been looking at and we're gonna go try it and hike it out I have no idea I have not had great luck with public land on this trip but uh, I think if I put down some serious miles today, there's a chance we can find something good. So some nice deer in this area of Ohio, and we're gonna go try it out. On a side note, they got smashed by a tornado here like the other day. The road coming in here was just gnarly. Trees down, utilities down, and they're working hard to get them going again. So props to those guys. I'm gonna go try to find a shed. Hopefully the tornado didn't carry them all away. This is an encouraging sign, or not, depending on <laughs> our experience in the past it can be a good sign or not but I thought there's a dead buck right there in the creek looks big I thought I saw a shed to my left right as I saw him but so I got to find the thing I was looking at over here and then I'll hike up and see when we found deadheads in the past has not been an indicator of good luck but it does mean that maybe nobody's hiked there so that's good would it have been so hard do have just shed right there? Nice deer. Jeez. Pretty freaking sweet, actually. Tight. Two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. Little 11. Narrow. Sweet little buck. Little heartbreaker. Maybe somebody shot him and couldn't recover him or... Maybe he came down in here to get a little bit of water. Maybe he had EHD. Who knows? Who knows? But it's a sweet buck. I wish I wish it counted. I should change this channel to Deadhead Crazy because I find so many more of those than I do sheds. Little hailstorm coming through. It's 
just like that. Done. Welcome back to the Shed Crazy YouTube channel where, where I get excited and scream and yell over chalky, chewed up garbage antlers. Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm freaking 10 plus miles into this day. It's been raining on and off. I'm getting my freaking butt kicked. Nothing even seeing anything that looks like a horn yet. And I almost stepped on this one like, oh, sometimes you just freaking need a pick me up, folks. One of the things I love about this tour is it gets me excited again about antlers that I wouldn't have even thought twice about. You appreciate them. That's actually a really a big antler, but just a garbagey, chewed up shed, but it's a shed. It's a freaking Ohio shed. And that is state number 25. We're halfway through the United Sheds of America. And it only took me the whole freaking day. But I got it on public land here in Ohio. Hopefully, that's not the end of it. Maybe we can snag another one on the way out, but the way it's been going so far, I wouldn't hold your breath. It's starting to rain hard. State 25, checked off. Ugh, that feels freaking amazing. So this is always a good sign when you're rolling to shed hunt with somebody, but we kind of spent a lot of time today looking through a bunch of these antlers and stuff, and man, he just has some super impressive stuff in here. But one up here that I gotta show you guys is crazy. Get it down carefully. I can do it without knocking anything off. But look at this antler, you guys. What? Yeah, that deer is insane. But spent a lot of time today picking through this stuff and checking all these antlers and got hooked up with some sweet stuff so i just wanted to show you guys these sheds that redmond crew was kind enough to to give to me um we got back to the house and we're kind of looking through some of the the sheds that they had here and you know i just kind of got my mind blown <laughs> i was not expecting this but they gifted me this amazing set of antlers that was just like what i was dreaming about finding the whole day today as i was walking around in the mud and the rain and then also this really cool single so just want to give a shout out to these guys i'm going to put a link to their youtube channel in the description of this video so go check out their stuff um they have a pretty cool message and uh do some hunting videos and stuff so if you want to see that go click that link and a huge thanks to these guys you want to say anything in the video want to add anything in hi everybody <laughs> check this guy out he's legit right on good morning folks low battery we're going to try this back in indiana and i still can't talk it's getting better it's getting better third time in indiana we're going to meet up with a buddy check it out let's go have a good day folks we are back in indiana once again we met up with my buddy chavis he's right there and we are gonna go give this a shot for some sheds uh this is all um hay and there's been some deer coming in and out of it so some deer trails up in here it looks pretty good we're gonna cruise around we're gonna check some cameras do some hikes we got about it's about noon and it wasn't supposed to rain today but the weather's been kind of crummy but we're going to get out and do some hikes, and I, I think there's a good chance that we're going to be able to check off Indiana today. The third time that we came here. Third time's going to be a charm. Beautiful property, good company. Travis, anything you want to add? I'm ready to find something. All right. We're going to cross it off today. This guy's a shed head. He's addicted. We're going to go find some sheds. Oh, we're freaking, me and Travis are freaking out right now. Yeah. Travis, look at that thing, dude. Dude. Yes. Yes, I went running out of the gator. Oh. That's, That's a, a dandy, big shed, dandy. man. Oh my gosh. Three times oh. in Indiana to get that right there. Yes. We got her, baby. Indiana. And that's oh a God. nice good, shed. Good spot, too, Oh, man. man. Laying up just right. I told you. Dude, I'm so happy. <laughs> I'm so yeah. freaking pumped. Thank you. Man, we needed that one. I've been, <sighs> I've been after. Oh, a lot of hiking, a lot of miles, a lot of days to be right there, folks. Look at that good brow, too. Oh. He got eight on the back end. Kind of figured that might happen here with all the squirrels, but 
There we go, folks. Indiana is done. That's state number 26. We're over halfway through the United Sheds of America. Oh, man, I feel like a 1,000-pound weight just came off my shoulders. I could be happy for you. <laughs> Dude, thank you so much, Chad, for having <laughs> Oh, me. man, my pleasure, man. Oh, that's a good shed. Dude, that's a dandy shed. Yeah, it's too bad. so waiting up right there, but we were just hoping that we'd drive through the right place and, and hit one. So. Man. There it is, folks. I'm oh, so pumped for I you. Feel so good. <laughs> it's funny because Chavis was hiking a minute ago and had kind of running with the trespasser, and you're kind of, you know, it just takes the wind out of your cells when that stuff happens, and that filled them right back up right there. Yes, we're good, folks. We're good. Let's go. We're rolling now. So Chavis just yelled. I think he's behind me. He's like, I got one, so I was gonna bounce over and help him. Yeah, I got one right here. Maybe two. We're in them now, buddy. Just a little one. Yeah, chewed up and old. What do you got? Nice. Yeah, this is last year's probably. Chewed. See, I freaking knew it, man. Yeah, you've been saying the whole time that these hills were probably holding them. But, dude, what a beautiful little spot. Like, this is... If you could draw up a spot for a deer to shed, it would look like this. Just beautiful trees running through right here. Yeah, it looks like his bed right there, too. Yeah, yep, I figured they were kind of... Oh, heck yeah. ...hanging off on the hill, so... Last year's problem? I think so. A little chomped up, not bad. I thought I had another one right here, but it was just a chewed bone. Yes! Yeah, dude, we're in Woo! it now. So what do you got? Let's go look at it. Let's go. Oh, heck yeah. Sweet. Man, the little... Tree rats will get them. There are sheds in Jeez, Indiana. man. But we're late in the season, you know? So right. It's like, they've been surprised sitting here a while. Yeah, I was down there. You saw it from way over yeah, there? Yeah, I saw it sitting right, I saw that point right there. Perfect little spot. Just tells you how many walk by, because where's that tree stand? Uh, yeah, it was right here. It's right here, right in front of us. Dude, see, I, I walked under the tree stand, so. I mean, I never would have seen it, but yeah. it's just all about the line you take. Exactly, and I, I was, like I said, I was over there and looked over here, so. A couple of trophies right there, you know what I'm saying? Yes! They're both the same side. Could that be him next year? Yeah. Is this him? Yeah. Not growing very much. <laughs> He's going to dink forever. Well, there they are, folks. We did pretty dang good, especially in comparison to my other Indiana trips, but four sheds and that is the official shed of the state of indiana so stoked to take that one home put a leather tag on it and that's our indiana shed so javis what do you think i couldn't be more happy really uh just super stoked i can't believe we we found what we did really yeah uh, just being this late in the season yeah we but, smashed uh, some monsters drank some dews it was a good trip, bro. Thank you, man. God. Awesome to meet you, too. You too, yeah, man. It was great to meet you. All right, folks, that's going to do it for Ohio. I need to give a big shout out to Jared. Uh, I need to give a shout out to Chris. I need to give a shout out to Chavis. You guys were awesome. Thank you for your help. Ohio and Indiana are done. We are headed to PA. Got about a four hour drive, not too bad. Back in the Tundee. And we will see you on that one. <laughs>